fair was good, uh, exciting, and it, in the early days it was the only place you could go and hear the latest music mm -hmm. broadcast, latest records uh, and this sort of thing. Yeah, a lot of Bing Crosby and all that sort of stuff in those days, but not, not like now, but that was where you went to listen to the music as well and the excitement and the, the light, light, especially at night when all the flashing lights were on, all the cuddle lights were on, all the music was on and all the shouting and gossiping and what have you. It was good and exciting. Was well, it if it was raining, of course. But, it uh, was as sorry as was the place where you picked the lad up if you clicked and then walked down the river front, you see, with them. And your mother's always told you not to go there. Our mates, Roy's wife, oh, Louise, Louise, she actually jumped, put her best coat on, lipstick on, absconded through with bedroom window and went to the fair. And she reckons her mother knew, but she never got caught, she said. Whereas we have one tale where the girl was only 13. And she went to the fair with lipstick and everything on. And the mother went up and found her. Her aunt went up and found her one in bed and called the police. So the first place they went was the fair. So she was oinked out.